The Chicago Bears have hired Colt Safety's coach Alan Williams to be their next defensive coordinator. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears offseason update video. If you guys want more of these, definitely be sure to subscribe to this channel. But today I'll be talking about our new defensive coordinator and also the guy that's going to be calling plays for our defense as well under head coach Matt Eberflus. If you guys missed it, Matt Eberflus actually said in his press conference a few days ago that all the play calling duties on both offense and on defense will be delegated to the coordinator so the offensive coordinator will call the offensive plays and the defensive coordinator um alan williams now will be calling the defensive plays so in this video i'll tell you guys a little bit more about alan williams what he's done in the past um what he's done recently with the colts and there's a lot of good stuff on his resume guys okay i think it's a pretty solid hire mainly because he already knows coach Eberflus's system okay he worked four years with Matt Eberflus with the colts and it's really helpful that he already knows that system because now he's going to be calling plays for that system okay he's a 4-3 guy he worked in the Tampa 2 defense back under Tony Dungy a decade ago so he knows the system well he knows the scheme well and he should be able to teach it really well to our defense as well and hopefully be able to call you know good plays for them as well so looking at his resume guys I'll go you know year by year telling you guys what he's been doing as a coach so he began as a high school coach at Norview High School um then he went to William & Mary to coach the running backs and the defensive backs and then after that he got his first job with the NFL, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a defensive assistant under head coach Tony Dungy. Now, Tony Dungy actually left to go to the Colts the following year to be their head coach, and uh, Tony Dungy brought along Allen Williams with him to be the defensive backs coach for almost 10 years, right? So he had a lot of success there being the defensive backs coach with the Colts, which is why I got a promotion then to defensive coordinator with the Minnesota Vikings for two years. Now, his first year as defensive coordinator under a uh, Leslie Frazier head coach did go really well okay the Vikings had a top half of the league defense they improved in a variety of different categories but the next year didn't go so hot okay they ranked bottom half of the league you know regress in a lot of key areas which is why Leslie Frazier you know I believe he lost his job then and then obviously Alan Williams lost his job as well so kind of a mixed bag as defensive coordinator under, the, under Leslie Frazier um, but then after that he went to the Lions to be defensive backs and safeties coach for about three years, they're going back to Indianapolis to be the defensive backs and safeties coach under defensive coordinator Matt Eberflus, um, 2018 to 2021. And now he will be the next defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. So really extensive resume. He's been coaching for 30 years, which is something I love to see. Okay, for a guy that's going to be calling plays now, being one of the most important coaches now on the defense, you would like to see that you know resume, that experience working with a variety of different teams, with a variety of different players. And Alan Williams does have that experience in fact we bears fans should know that the best okay because back in 2006 alan williams secondary was part of the reason why we did not win the super bowl that year okay if you guys remember his secondary guys like bob sanders you know bob sanders forced a fumble in the super bowl uh, calvin hayden had a pick six in the super bowl so the guys that he coached up in that secondary they were part of the reason why the bears didn't even win the super bowl that year so it's nice to get a guy like this now on our side so his first round with the colts was really successful i mean that's why he was there for almost 10 years his past defense ranked top six in the nfl five years out of the, out of the 10 years almost that he was there and they only ranked um out of the top 15 once during that entire stretch so his secondaries always were elite okay best of the best he coached guys like i mentioned bob sanders antoine Bethea. a lot of talented players and the colts also made the playoffs nine times during that stretch so a lot of success coaching on the defense and that's why I got a promotion to defensive coordinator with the Vikings and like I mentioned it went really well his first year okay a lot of success top half of the league on defense second year though not so much now part of the reason for that is because they had a lot of injuries on that defense okay a bunch of key guys now playing in the secondary in the linebacker department so it was kind of rough that year um, but if you look at his entire stretch then with Minnesota they were tied for seventh in sacks overall during that two-year span ninth in tackles for loss so they did do some good things it didn't end up really well but you know after that he went to the lions where you know like i mentioned he coached some really good players okay all pro defensive backs quandre Diggs, glover quinn were developed under alan williams even darius slay made his first pro bowl um under the leadership of alan williams so clearly his you know experience coaching defensive backs it really helps wherever he goes he's been able to coach up some really solid defensive backs no matter which team he's been on and then finally his time with the Colts has also gone pretty well they've had pretty solid secondaries every year under 
you know, Matt Eberflus and also under Allen Williams. Okay, some good players like obviously Malik Hooker. He had a couple good years before he got injured. Safety Kari Willis, Julian Blackman had a solid year and I believe that was 2020. So even though they haven't invested a whole lot of money or a whole lot of picks in the secondary, the secondary still has been pretty good under Allen Williams. Okay, they've been top 10 in pass defense since 2018 and obviously top of the league in, um, in interceptions too. Okay, they've been a turnover forcing machine on defense ever since 2018. 18. So overall, guys, I think this is a pretty solid hire for the Chicago Bears. Okay, we're getting a guy that knows Coach Eberflus' system that's worked with Eberflus in the past. So that relationship is already going to be there. Okay, if you guys remember Matt Nagy, when he first became head coach of the Bears, he didn't bring any people that he worked with in Kansas City because nobody wanted to come with him. Okay, everybody wanted to stay with Andy Reid in Kansas City. The opposite is true of Matt Eberflus in Chicago. Okay, he's bringing practically everyone he knew on the Colts on the defensive side of the football and that's going to help create continuity for this scheme and for the system. Now yes he hasn't called plays in a long time so it's fair to be a little bit concerned about how he's going to be as a defensive coordinator now right like as a play caller for this defense but I will say that this is pretty much coach Eberflus's defense guys okay all the teaching all the main principles of this defense will be done by coach Eberflus. I know the play calling will be done by Alan Williams but if things go horribly wrong here I'm assuming that Eberflus might just take over the play calling duties and do it himself if we get to that point. Now, I don't think we will because I think our defense will still be fine with all this, you know, great coaching staff that we have, the great talent that we have for these coaches to work with. So hopefully it'll be fine, but we will see. Okay, so far, I think it's a pretty good hire. But again, let's let the games play out. So let me know what you guys think about this hire down below in the comments. And as always, bear down.